today is hair porn Tuesdays or just hair porn. <laughs> All of our protective styles. And let's see, this is how my hair is looking. And it's different. I'm going to have a little bit of a story time to tell you what had happened with my first week of my protective style. And as you see, a little bit of fuzziness. I'm going to show you a little bit of the maintenance near the end and what I've been doing to keep my hair up. <laughs> Stay with me. Give me 10 to 20 seconds and I'll be back with you. Y'all. Hey, it's me. I'm JC German JC, and it's hair porn. <laughs> it's hair porn. Yes. Um. And today's porno is all about this protective style. Now I'm going to tell you some good and some bad, and I'm gonna to try to do it really fast. So what's going on is I'm in protective style. As y'all know, I have braids. Give you a good 360 basically. So basically this is how my hair is look right now. And I'm now like literally taking from the braid part. This is a braid and this is a two strand twist. So basically what I am doing, I'm just gonna give you a manageable situation of what's happening. So basically what I'm doing right now is <laughs> I am I am getting rid of an issue that I have. Now, this happens sometimes with some people have hair, and if you ever get braids, this happens with a lot of people, and some people, it it doesn't happen often with me, I have hair bumps. I'm getting hair bumps on my nape of my neck, and hair bumps for me is like a no-no, but I was trying my best to combat the situation. So, let me just show you, let me walk you through something real quick. I literally got home from my potato style. And well, I got home from my hair being done. My hair got braided and everything like that. And the only thing I didn't have with me was my oil, my oil mix. I made a new oil mix. This was recent. I made this the same day <laughs> I got it done. And I was gonna show y'all a little bit what I did differently, but that's another video. Right now, it's about me telling you about what's going on with my hair. So basically, this right here is my new oil mix, and I sprayed my oil mix, got all my hair, and all like that. And then day two, day three happened. Got my hair done a certain day, and then, like, when I started going to work, I was like, you know, and a lot of people don't know this, it takes about two to three days for, like, your hair being braided or your hair being a new protective style, uh, three days to a week to start, like, really having movement, or, like, say, like, how you have my, like, that movement right there, that <laughs> in itself. That happens when your protective style is fresh into like a little lived in. So that's like a few days in. This happens when I say my neck, my neck is in like hurting me and I'm like want to scratch, 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 scratch. But if you do scratch it, some of that will be hair loss. And that's pure hair loss of your strands because having hair bumps itself is not a bad thing. You can combat hair, you know, uh, hair bumps. But the thing is, it's giving too much tension into your hair. So that's a very scary thing, especially for someone like me that I get freaked out by stuff like that. So why am I doing, why my hair is like this, compared to being like this, is because this braid in itself is hurting my neck. It's hurting my like hair because my hair is longer, but it's not so much that it's longer. It's how the person braided my hair. And I'm not saying anything bad about that person. This is like my go-to person. And this happens. It does happen from time to time. So what did I do to combat it? <laughs> Got my aloe vera juice. <laughs> and I literally have been, I sprayed my hair down in my back. Because aloe vera juice is to kind of build up, combat, and to calm down your pH balance. So then I did my LOC with my oil mix, and I used this right here. My Black Jamaican Carousel Smoothing. And as you see, I've been using this crazily. So I've been just adding this to my whole head just to see if my whole head will calm down. And it's weird. My, all this is great. It was just the name. And at work, every time, y'all don't know this, I work third shift. So say I go to sleep, I don't have a problem. When I get home, I don't have a problem. So I'm like, maybe it just work. But the thing is, I'm using my neck the most probably at work because I'm looking, 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 you know. So, 
to get to the solution of this, I was like, all right, we gotta figure something out. Literally, <laughs> this morning, I was like, we're switching this up. So, what I did was, I took all this on, I took this whole braid down, I didn't take the braid itself down, I took the hang time down, and I just, just I made three strands into a two strand twist, where you just break it and that's it. And I'm going to try my best to show you sooner or later how I did it, but right now I'm just going to show you that trust me that I'll come back with a finished product of all my back being done in that, <laughs> in that regard. The reason why, because it takes so much time. So like, but real quickly, I will show you this. So basically, as you see, this is how my hair is. My hair naturally is curly. So like this morning I had natural sweat. First, wet your braid. I'm gonna give you this that much. Always wet your braid before you take anything out. And you see that right there? You feel that? Look at your ends. You have to kind of unravel. You can see the curliness and everything like that. All right, cool. Now let's make mess this up a little bit. And what we're gonna do now is just pick out just a little bit. And literally, since your hair is now wet, you can do a little bit more. Now, as you see, I'm very careful, and this is going to, this is why I told y'all before, I, I don't really have a takedown video, because it takes so long, and I want to get almost everything into it. And, basically, yeah, I'm going to do this off camera. <laughs> but, for, like, say this, I'm going to do like this, then this is what I'll show you. You start giving it more of a mix, like that. And from that, as you see, I, I over, yeah, I, I make sure my is fully wet. Then, once again, I'm going to give it, like, three sprays. This is my old mix spray. And, as you see, I'm doing that. And last but not least, we're going to soften the hair itself with the LLC. With the cream. This is Batch Make Castle Oil um, <laughs> Strength and Restore Smoothie. As y'all like as I showed you before, I'm gonna do this real quickly and just do the praying method, the praying hand method. And you literally just go to the back and that's it, basically. So we're going from that. And literally now since that's happening to all this one strain, we're gonna go from that and I'm gonna see if I can do this still one more time on camera. I'm gonna try. End up trying, it's not happening. <laughs> so I'll be right back with a finished product of all of them. So give me one second. <laughs> Hair going Tuesday, so what you want? <laughs> okay, I'm back a little bit. Now, no lie, now the braid, now I'm untangling the braid and I'm trying my best. Like I told y'all before, what we're doing to combat this issue is literally we're gonna just take hold, we're just gonna un unravel the hair. And you're like, okay, cool. I'm like, well, real quickly, the speech is very <laughs> nice, huh? Um, and literally, right now, I'm at the end. So the hardest part when you're untangling your hair, regardless, is kind of just starting off. That's why I was like, this is going to be frustrating. So I let me just do this off camera. And then once I stopped, it was like easy. So now we're going back to like, okay, well, where do we go so we can unrelease this tension? And now we're getting that part right now. All right, so basically, you get two strands, and you kind of just you kind of keep it a little taut like this. And as y'all seen before, this is my two strand method. All right, let's relieve a little bit. And as you see me going like this, what's going to happen is you see how all of these strands are now. Like you see how long it is. It's gonna go from long to this poof. On this side. So what's gonna happen now is this. You're gonna go like this there in, and then I like to do a little anchor move that I learned from Yolanda Renee. And literally this is it. And I go from tension to that. Alright, this is it. What I did last was like I told you before, I untwisted all of them. This is how it looks. This is how it looks. One did come down, which I'm trying to get to that last one. It's right here. Um, real quickly, how I do it is this. This is a twist in itself, and you're gonna just keep going like this. If you ever did, um, <laughs> I got a ring for it. This is called an anchor twist. So you're gonna twist it, and it's kind of like, I don't know. 
I'm just gonna, it's called an extra twist. And basically, it's gonna protect my ends. And this is how my hair looks now. I love it a lot more. And also, how I've been maintaining my hair is slightly because of a sad pillow. And I've also been using my these. This right here. Which I'll talk about that more, a little bit more next week. Yes. <laughs> try best to stay woke, try best to get woke. If you like my hair porn this week, give me a thumbs up. And if you like the finish results, hold on, let me just show you the ending. I mean, this is how it looks. Real quickly, one side. Do a little close up. All right, cool. <laughs> See you later with the next one.